What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we are going to have a PSA reveal. However, this is going to be the first time I've done this. Uh, so PSA has actually recently updated their app where you can actually do a reveal, kind of like a virtual reveal. Uh, I think I've done, I've shown something similar in the past with Arena Club. So pretty much the same thing uh, before you get your cards shipped back to you. If you guys out there are impatient, like I am, you can actually see images and reveal the grades on the app. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. This is a value plus submission that was sent to PSA on May 1st. So I am recording this video on um, Tuesday, May 23rd. So uh, with shipping to PSA and being graded, probably took about two and a half, three weeks, somewhere in there. Now, I do actually have two other value plus orders at PSA right now. One was literally shipped last week. Uh, so that one hasn't even been checked in yet. And then there was one that was uh, shipped probably about two weeks prior to this one. And it is still in QA2 and I've had probably three or four different people from that submission reach out and be like, what's going on? Why is this taking so long? So apparently in that submission, there was one card that needed, uh, you know, like some extra authentication. I think PSA wasn't really sure about it. So that one took, that one slowed down that submission quite a bit. So hopefully that is in QA2 now. So should be done any day now. And I do plan on doing a reveal just like I'm doing on this one uh, for that one. So. Uh, especially with value plus it'll probably be pretty easy to do these type of videos so let me know if you guys like these reveals uh, in the comments below I would definitely be interested to know or if you just want me to wait until the cards are shipped back to me and then show them that way but value plus orders are typically a little bit smaller orders so it should be pretty easy to do this shouldn't take too long this value plus order is uh, 16 cards and again it was shipped at the beginning of May and it is just now being done. Now it is it has not shipped out from PSA yet. Should ship back in the next day or two. Uh, so just wanted to mention that as well. And now let me go ahead and start the uh, screen recording on my iPhone and I'll throw up a split screen so you guys can see exactly what I am seeing on my phone. So let's go ahead and click the bottom there where it says uh, your items have been graded and, and then you click reveal. Now I do want to mention, I, I just mentioned that these have not shipped yet. It does say shipped. That is just the final step in the order. Uh, these have not shipped yet. So I think after they ship, it would have like a tracking number there. Uh, so have not shipped out yet. So let's go ahead and do the reveal. I have not seen these uh, grades yet. So we are gonna be you know, going through these at the exact same time. I have no idea what to expect. So it says swipe to reveal. So flip your card to reveal the grade. So this is actually, this is really cool. I do like this a lot. Uh, I am swiping and it's not doing anything. Uh, tap to go forward or back. There we go. Okay. So this one is a Desmond Ritter and it's uh, a Leaf Metal Auto. It's numbered, I believe that says three of five. So let's go ahead and flip that around. And we are starting with a nine. So this is actually the first time I've done this. I have not done this yet. Unfortunately, none of my personal cards are in the submission, uh, but I do like how it pops up at the top, uh, PSA 9. And I like, I really like how it shows the back of the card first and you can flip it around and reveal the grade. So super cool. So starting out with a Desmond Ritter 9, uh, looks like Zebra Mojo on that one. And then let's click that little white dot there and that will reveal the next one. Now this is a Jamar Chase uh, prism. Oh, I was trying to figure out what it was. It says at the bottom there, uh, Jamar Chase laser prism. Uh, so let's go ahead and reveal that one. And we are starting out with uh, two nines. So another nine on that one. Go ahead and click to the next one. Oh, this is actually, this is a really big one. So I do remember this one. This one uh, is a prism all out insert of Joe Burrow and it is the black finite one of one. Fingers crossed for a 10 here. This is a big card. Oh, and it got a 10. <laughs> Let's go. All right, congrats to that person. Uh, I, uh, that is a local person, uh, Jordan. So shout out to him. Congrats, that is awesome. Wow, Joe Burrow, one of one PSA 10. That's incredible. All right, moving on to the next one. We have a LeBron James. This is gonna be a cubic uh, to 50. I don't remember, this one might be Mitchell, another local. I know there was, this submission had like pretty much all locals in it. Uh, so let's see what the LeBron Cubic got. And that one did get a nine. So a nine on the LeBron Cubic. 
All right, moving on to the next one, Steph Curry. Uh, this one is out of Mosaic, and it is a Genesis. Uh, I think this one might also be Mitchell. And that one also got the nine, so two out of two on the nines. Let's move on to the next one. We have 2003 Topps Jersey Dwayne Wade Copper. Uh, I wouldn't guess this one would be a you know that high of a grade, but you know we'll we'll definitely check it out. See what we have. All right, so we got a seven on the D Wade, which is kind of what I expected. It is a you know a thicker card. I always mention. PSA is, is super tough on thicker cards, so seven is not super surprising, but definitely not what we were hoping for there. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This one's gonna be a LeBron uh, 2003 Finest, and it looks like that one is numbered maybe the 999, I'm not super sure on that one, can't tell. Uh, and this one is going to be an eight. So, uh, you know, not bad for a 20 year old card. 2003 Finest LeBron, that one did get an eight. And next up, we have a Patrick Mahomes. Now this one looks like it is gonna be a die cut from 2019 Unparalleled. Uh, so let's see what we have on this one. Die cuts are always tough. So nine, uh, not bad there. Uh, we'll definitely take a nine on a, a die cut, especially this die cut with all of those corners. Uh, so that's not too bad. And then next up, uh, we have a Donovan Mitchell. I'm trying to remember this one. So this one's out of uh, Encased. Substantial swatches. Uh, prime, so I'm guessing this one's maybe numbered to like 25 or 10, something like that. So hopefully we get a good grade here and a nine. Okay, so again, thicker card, definitely not too bad. And that one is the prime. So that one is, uh, uh, I guess, gold if you want to call it that, numbered to 10. And moving on to the next one, we have. Okay, I can see the numbering on this one. This one is a LeBron uh, 2003 Fleer Showcase, and this one is numbered out of a thousand. So we have a PSA 8 on that one. Uh, PSA 8 on the LeBron rookie numbered to 1,000. And then next up, I believe, yeah, so this one is where uh, another local, uh, locals order, Josh, where his card starts. So he sent in a Jeremy Sochan autograph, uh, Contenders Premium Edition. So it has that like chrome look. I don't think it's numbered. Uh, and that one got a 10, okay, very nice. So on card, Contenders Auto, uh, not numbered, but it does have that like chrome look, that's why it's the premium edition. So PSA 10 there, really nice start for Josh. And then next up we have an Aiden Hutchinson. This one is gonna be the Contenders Ticket Stub. Uh, you can see the, the edges at the top of the card there. And let's see what we have here. This one's probably gonna be a tough one. Oh wow, a 10 on the Hutchinson, and that one is numbered uh to i can't tell the numbering on that one 99 maybe or no 97 that's right so these are numbered to the uh, jersey number uh but a tough grade on the you know with those edges at the top psa 10 so really really good start here for josh and he has i was about to say he has a big one coming up paulo bancaro contenders lottery ticket cracked ice this one is numbered to 25. this is a super super nice card and it got a nine, so nine on the Bancaro. Uh, not too bad there, could definitely be a lot worse. And I believe this one is the same thing, so cracked ice, shaded and sharp. Let's see if we can get a 10 on this one. Uh, that one also got a nine. I believe he also sent in a Bancaro Contenders Auto, which might be the next card, and it is. So Panini Contenders Paolo Bancaro Auto Playoff. So let's see what this one got. It, I believe this one looked to be in pretty good condition. Ah, oh, I got a nine. Okay, so that, that's not too bad. This, this one is numbered out of 99. We'll take it, we'll take a nine again. Could definitely be a lot worse. So this next card should be the final card in the submission. Let's go ahead and see what it is. Erling Holland, uh, Premier League signatures uh, out of Panini Prism. Let's see what we have here. Josh is a big uh, soccer fan. No, he's hoping for a 10 on this one. And we are gonna end with a 10. That is a super, super nice card. Nice way to end up the submission. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Again, if you guys like seeing submission reveals like this, where I don't actually have the cards, uh, but we can reveal on, on my phone, uh, definitely let me know. Um, and I can do more like this. Again, I do have 
Uh, another value plus order still at PSA, which should be done any day now. Could be done today. Um, so if you guys want to see that one, please, please let me know uh, if you if you guys like this. If not, I can go back to just when I get the cards revealing them that way. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon.